Well, looking beyond the protest, what does the change look like? Well, today, 11 Alive's Karis Belger spoke with Georgia NAACP President Gerald Griggs about what could be done here in the Peach State. And this is not about being anti-law enforcement. Actually, it's pro-law enforcement because it's pro-justice. For Georgia NAACP President Gerald Griggs, the video of the arrest and beating of Tyree Nichols is a painful reminder. I hope that I would never see a video like George's again, but I knew I would. In the days since the footage was released, Griggs has joined other activists in pushing for changes in policing, both nationally and locally. We've dealt with police-involved incidents before over several years here in Georgia, and these are some of the top uh, line items that we think would help stem the tide uh, and bring more accountability. The Georgia NAACP released a list of changes it wants to see, including requiring all Georgia law enforcement officers to wear body cameras, independent prosecutors appointed in all police-involved deaths, forbidding officers from testifying in law enforcement cases before a grand jury, and a database for officers who were fired for using excessive force. Griggs says he intends to speak with lawmakers and wants them to support these initiatives. We are in legislative session, so the best way for them to weigh in is legislative change. And as the cries of the community ring out, Griggs hopes to see these changes put in practice in the hope of preventing more tragedy. Don't use uh, Tennessee as a, as a panacea. Um, there are issues within our own departments here in Atlanta and here around the state that they are quiet on. Kara Spelger, 11 Alive News.